All right, solve each equation and check your answer. So in this case, we've got to use the distributive property. Three parentheses, Q minus five, close parentheses, equals two parentheses, Q plus five, close parentheses. So how do I do it? Well, I need to dis distribute first. I need to say three times Q and three times negative five. Over here, two times Q, two times five. What do we get? We get three Q minus 15 equals two Q plus 10. And then hopefully you can just see this just looks like one of the earlier problems that we did. Okay, what do we do? Well, again, backing up to the thing I mentioned several times in the other videos, here are three Qs and here are two Qs. If I was to take two Q from both sides to eliminate it from this side, taking two Q from these three Qs would give me just Q. And that's a nice smart move to be left with a coefficient of one after a move like this. So three Q minus 15, what was originally there, okay, minus 2q, because I'm undoing this, okay, what was already there, minus 2q equals 2q, 2q plus 10, what was already there, minus 2q. This is what I did to both sides, I subtracted 2q. You could do it multiple ways, but you will find if you subtracted 3q from both sides, for example, you'd be left with negative q, and you have to deal with that then coefficient of negative 1. So this is, to me, is the easiest. Um, and if you're actually listening to what I'm saying, and you pick up on that and say, oh, the easiest thing that you could do for yourself would be to take away this 2q, because what will that do? That will leave you with a single q over here, minus 15. Then you're making your life easier, OK? Because what happens over here? These combine to be q, minus 15, and these our inverse operations and they cancel out leaving just 10. Now what do we do? Well, what's happening to Q? 15 is being subtracted. Now, particularly with subtraction, I, I hear people having trouble saying how you say it. You can say 15 is being subtracted from Q, okay? Um, or you take away 15 from Q. There's a lot of ways to say it wrong. There's a few ways to say it right. Um, and really care about whether you're saying it right or not, because this is where your um, either lack of complete mathematical understanding or your just general English language uh, difficulties kind of tends to pop out in situations like this. It's the easiest situations is not where it, your, um, you know, your lack of complete understanding becomes where it's in these specific cases. So what's happening to Q? 15 is being subtracted from it. So we need to do the inverse operation of minus 15, which is plus 15 to both sides. Okay, so we take what's already there, Q minus 15, and we add 15. We take what's already there, 10, we add 15. These are inverse operations and cancel out to leave just Q. And these go together to be 25. So we get Q is equal to 25. Now, proof, rewrite the original equation. Wherever there's a variable, you're going to put parentheses, and you're going to sub substitute that value, in this case 25, into the equation where Q was. Now, there was already parentheses there, so what do you need to do? You need to put brackets where the parentheses that already were there were, and then where Q is, you put that set of parentheses with the value inside of it. Okay, can't stress that enough. These are this in particular is a place where kids are really making a lot of mistakes. So if you know that, then say, oh, this is where we make a lot of mistakes. We should probably move more slowly and closely on this. Okay, so three brackets and then the parentheses, 25 inside minus five. Close the brackets. Those are those. Okay, equals two. These parentheses become brackets. The Q has parentheses around them for the 25 plus 5. And then there's that. Brackets closed. Okay? And we need to simplify. So how do we simplify this? Well, we're going to combine 25 minus 5 because it's inside. They call them grouping symbols, whether it's parentheses or brackets. They're grouping symbols. We do that first. 25 minus 5 is 20. And over here, same thing. 25 plus 5 is 30. So we get three parentheses. Because remember, now that we just have 25 minus 5 equaling 20, there's no more parentheses inside, so the outside brackets go back to being just parentheses. 3 times 20 equals 2 times 
30. And what is 3 times 20? It is 60. What is 2 times 30? It is 60. So 60 plus 60, that's a proper proof.